Hi, this is Kathleen from Jay's Art Studio. Today we're going to be doing a watercolor without watercolors. We're actually going to be using coffee. This is, um, actually I used instant, but you can use a, a regular coffee, just brew it up nice and strong. Maybe sit it out um, overnight so it becomes more concentrated. We'll start with, uh, I have some water paper, watercolor paper here, and I drew very, very lightly what it is that we're going to be working on. Um, it's going to be a waterscape, and um, you can see from this one here that's finished that it, there's a lovely sepia tone color to the coffee. To get it to go darker in some areas, just um, uh, add more coffee to it as it dries, more layers. And then uh, at the very end, we'll put, be putting some uh, ink, black ink, in to just bring out some more of the uh, details. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the thing furthest away, which is the sky, and I want this to be nice and soft, so I'm going to water it down. That way, when I put the coffee on there, it'll want to run. It'll be nice and soft, and it'll want to run. There we go. I'm going to add it over in here. See how it's wanting to flow? and I just put it in the darkest areas, allow it to go to lighter. Makes a nice flowing action there. I taped down the watercolor paper onto a, a stiff board. What I used here was Plex, but any board will do, as long as it's nice and rigid. There we go. And again, I can add more of the um, coffee to where I want it to go darker after it dries. Maybe a little darker over in here. It will dry pretty fast, but you can always use a hair dryer to make it go a little, uh, a little faster as far as the drying time goes. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to use a hair dryer to get this to go to dry a little faster. Okay, it is now a little bit dry. I added a little bit uh, more of the coffee in uh, some darker areas. And um, now we're going to be working forward. So I'm going to add a mountain range up here and as we work our way forward it's going to go from light to dark things further away are going to be lighter and it's going to get progressively darker as we get closer so let's see, we'll do this and we're going to add on. all right there we go I'm working kind of fast so that uh, this does dry quickly, and if I want it to blend, it needs to go a little fa on the fast side. Okay, so working our way down and getting darker as we go. All right, I got darker in here because the cat just went into. that. And as you get closer as well, it will become more in focus. There we go. Down below, 
And now I am going to allow it to dry again with the uh, hair dryer. There we go. Okay, so I um, I added a little bit more darkness to the uh, the mountain range back there, and this is pretty much dry down here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, work on the dock. Um, again, it's going to be lighter further away, and it's going to go progressively um, darker as it gets uh, closer. So let me add some color in here. Now the slats are going side to side, so then I'm going to continue doing the side to side motion because the uh, boards are going in this direction here. Let's move that in there. The slats are going to go smaller as it goes further away and get larger as they come closer. Nice and dark down here. Now in the picture, the dock is uh, darker than the water is, so we'll have to make that nice and dark so that it stands out to the water. Again, to make it darker, just add more coffee, and it will get even darker if you let it dry a little bit. like a little wooden bridge here at the bottom that goes in this direction. All right, and then there is sand and pebbles down here. So what I'm going to do here is add some coffee and then take the uh, rag and just tap in. the bubbles to be there that's okay and there we go texture and it looks like the dock okay, we can add some more slats going across very top we have it looks like a seat it's made out of wood back here and there we go I'll make that darker after I give it another minute or two to dry Okay, so um, I'm going to give this another minute to dry, and then we'll uh, finish it off uh, with some more details. Okay, so let's um, add some details to this dock. I'm going to um, add some nice dark lines down here. Let's see if it'll take it. And then at the very end, you can add some uh, pen, uh, a felt-tip pen would be good to um, add some more details. 
And I'm just going to add some more lines to make it look like there's it's wood. I'm using a small brush. The size brush is, is pretty important as far as getting details in you want a smaller paintbrush. Using a larger one will get lar uh, go a little bit faster in getting large areas complete. And there we go. Just adding more lines in there and uh, maybe some more pebbles down in this area. Let's make that go away. go and let's see here there we go go. Doesn't need to be perfect. It's an old dock. But we need to have some of these lines in there so that it again says that is a wooden dock. And, uh, Okay, so I think the rest of it I'll do in ink with an ink pen. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, this is Kathleen from Jay's Art Studio in Dallas, Texas.